the Celtics, I would probably say would be the biggest worry to me only because Jason Tatum and Kemba Walker both had terrible nights and it was still uh, an 11 point game, but it's the, it's the threat of that big three. They scored 82 points together. And that was very, very, very scary because the supporting cast of the Celtics was also unable or unable to provide any assistance. If, if Jason Tatum and Kemba are having the night that they're having, I'm literally about to pull this box score up right now. If I don't, if I remember correctly, they both shot like well under 40% for the field. Kemba was five of 16. Jason was six of 20. I mean, that's ridiculous. They had, what's that? 11 of 36 combined. Kemba's three of seven from the three point line. Jason's one of four. That's not okay. Your two best players without Jalen Brown to go up against the juggernaut that is Brooklyn is, is just absolutely not acceptable. And you know we're sitting. I'm looking. I'm sitting here looking at this box score. Like, dude, Evan Fournier was traded. Where it was was acquired for a reason. He played 39 minutes and he only had 10 points. Like, what are you? What are you doing? I think that he's been struggling since he's gotten to Boston, and until he turns it around. This could end up being a sweep. And like we talked about, unless Jason drops 50 again, I don't know how long Boston's going to be able to, you know, withstand this firepower because we all know Brooklyn's defense is horrible too. The fact that they were 11 points in this game and their best players were that bad. I, dude, they shot 37% as a team from the field. Mm -hmm. That's atrocious. And if Boston doesn't turn it around, this is only going to continue to show the momentum that Brooklyn has. KD had 32, Kyrie had 29, James Harden had 21, but James also put in nine and eight. So it's like, dude, if Brooklyn continues this pace, and this is, I think, maybe like the ninth or tenth game they've played together all season, this big three is about to catch the biggest momentum against the trash defensive team that is the Boston Celtics this season. I think with me – I'm going to get a little bit on my troll game here. I got to pit the Clippers, bro. And the reason why is, is because of the freaking vitriol they got after they got knocked out of the playoffs last year, being up 3-1. Now, granted, this Dallas uh, Clippers series is going to be a good one. I think it's going to be one of the better ones out of all of the slate of series that we have in the first round. It's just, I'm looking at the perspective of, the Clippers have already dealt with all of the BS that they got for social media, the amount of roasting that came their way after they lost to the Denver Nuggets after being up 3-1. Everybody wanted to see that Lakers-Clippers series in the Western Conference Finals last year, and it didn't, it didn't end up happening because they lost three straight games, and in Game 7, freaking Kawhi and Paul George were absolutely atrocious in that game seven when it mattered the most. They got the break speed off of them against Denver in that series, in that game seven. So I'm not saying that that's going to be the case here because I still think that the Clippers have a very good shot to win this series, even though I think Dallas has a lot of motivation to get back at the Clippers for knocking them out of the playoffs last year. But I'm just saying that those demons could rise again against the Clippers because look, you lost 10 points. You lost to, to the Dallas by 10 points at home. And even with the dunk that Kawhi had, you weren't able to generate enough momentum to get past Dallas in the first game on your home court in the, in the playoffs. So if they go down 2-0 in this series, you know, obviously we'll, we'll find out this week. But if they go down 2-0, I'm saying the, the, that those calls for a repeat of what possibly of what happened last year, they could possibly come back again. And if you think that the roasting was bad back then, wait till they could face a scenario where they could potentially, I'm not saying that they will, get potentially knocked out in the first round of the playoffs. Wait, wait like, till I get a hold of them. Wait, 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 wait till your boy gets a hold of them. 